Hamster Combat's upcoming listing and airdrop on September 26 has become a highly anticipated event within the community. With just 14 days to go, the excitement is building as players and investors prepare for what could be a major milestone for the game. However, despite the buzz, there are still several important questions circulating among community members. One of the most common questions is, what exactly is KYC, know your customer, and why is it necessary? This process, often required by exchanges, ensures that users verify their identities to prevent fraud and comply with regulatory standards. Another pressing concern is how to withdraw hamster combat tokens or airdrop rewards once they are listed. Many players are unfamiliar with the withdrawal process and are unsure about the steps involved. This includes understanding the connection between the game's platform and supported exchanges, and how to make the transition from in-game rewards to real-world assets. Furthermore, there's a lot of confusion around the terms on-chain and off-chain transactions. What do these terms mean, and how do they affect the way players manage their tokens? On-chain transactions refer to those that are recorded on the blockchain, providing transparency and security, while off-chain transactions occur outside the blockchain, offering faster processing times but potentially less security. Understanding the difference between these two types of transactions is crucial for players to navigate the ecosystem effectively and make the most out of their tokens when the airdrop happens. In this video, I'll be answering everything in simple terms, so if you stay focused and watch till the end, you'll understand everything. Before we dive in, if you're new to this channel, take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any updates I post here. Without wasting too much time, grab your popcorn and pay close attention because this is going to be helpful in the long run. Now, before we start with the withdrawal process, let's talk about what's important in Hamster Combat to qualify for the airdrop. Let's go over to the home screen and click on Buy Skin right here. Once you click on that, you'll see your achievements. These achievements are what guide you to stay on track for the airdrop. Click on See All to view everything which is basically a summary of what you've been doing in Hamster Combat all this time. Each card you've upgraded, the amount of friends you've invited, the number of skins you've unlocked, your profits per hour, the coins you've earned from profits per hour, everything is documented in your achievements. But here's the important part. All these achievements are not the criteria for qualifying for the airdrop. They are just a record of what you've done in Hamster Combat since you started playing. Don't think you need to complete everything listed here to be eligible for the airdrop. This is just a way of documenting your activity, not a prerequisite. Some people are spreading misinformation, saying you need to complete all the achievements to qualify, but that's not true. This is simply a record of your progress, and it doesn't determine your eligibility for the airdrop. So don't stress about completing everything. So, what exactly do you need to qualify for the airdrop? Let's go over to the airdrop section. Here, you'll see what Hamster Combat expects from you. First, there's your passive income, which is the profit you make per hour. They don't specify a particular amount, so don't stress over having a high profit per hour, just ensure you've accumulated a decent amount. Next, we have the earned task, which involves your daily combo and cipher code. Make sure you're doing that regularly. Then there's the friend invite section. Maybe you've invited 5 or 6 friends by now, and that's good, because some combo cards require inviting friends to unlock. Achievements come next, and as I mentioned earlier, these are just a record of card upgrades. You don't need to upgrade everything, just do what you can. Buying skins and reaching minimal achievement levels is enough. Finally, make sure you're subscribed to the Hamster Combat Telegram channel, which is also part of the requirements. 
One area that's caused confusion in the community is the issue of keys. Some people think you need 100 keys to qualify for the airdrop, but Hamster Combat hasn't specified how many keys you need. We're all just speculating. Whether you have 10, 20, or 100 keys, Hamster Combat has said you should not engage in manipulative gameplay to collect keys or coins. Just play normally, and you'll be fine. It's going to surprise a lot of people when the airdrop happens because those with fewer keys, say 5 keys, might still qualify. Meanwhile, some who have been grinding excessively for keys may end up in the same category. So don't stress too much about the number of keys you have, just keep playing naturally. Now that we've discussed what's required for the airdrop, let's move on to why I'm making this video, the withdrawal process. Click on withdraw at the top of the screen. Here, you'll see options like OKX and Bybit. We're still waiting for other exchanges like Binance and BitGet to be added, but they'll likely be available before the listing date. What exactly is OKX or Bybit? If OKX is not available in your country, you can use Bybit, and Binance will soon be available too. Now, let's talk about centralized exchanges, CEX, and decentralized exchanges, DEX, as well as on-chain and off-chain transactions. CEXs like OKX, KuCoin, and Bybit are centralized exchanges, and we refer to them as off-chain. On the other hand, wallets like Trust Wallet and BitGet Wallet are on-chain. During the withdrawal of DOGS tokens, we started with using off-chain exchanges like Binance and OKX, then later moved to on-chain wallets. Here on the withdrawal page, you'll see options for both CEXs, off-chain, and DEXs, on-chain. You can't use both, you'll need to choose either an on-chain or off-chain withdrawal method for your hamster combat tokens. If you go with the off-chain option, like OKX or Bybit, Hamster Combat will ask for your wallet address or Bybit UID after the listing, similar to how it was done with DOGS. If you already have a Bybit, OKX, or Binance account, you don't need to create a new one. The same account you used for DOGS withdrawals will work for Hamster Combat. Just provide the necessary details like the UID or wallet address. For those who don't have an account, you need to register and complete the KYC process. To summarize, you don't need to take any action right now. Hamster Combat is just listing the exchanges where they'll be available. The only action you'll need to take is choosing whether to withdraw using an on-chain or off-chain method when the airdrop comes. Disconnecting your wallet won't affect anything. I hope this explanation clears up any confusion and helps you navigate the process with ease. Stay tuned for more updates.